Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. <clears throat> so I've been thinking about postponing this reading uh, because I saw uh, another Tarot reader who, who did quite uh, an extensive <clears throat> uh, reading about Harry's mood yesterday. But then today I saw Sue Smith uh, video and the pictures of before and after. And with so many uh, conflicting, uh, um, conflicting uh, articles about Harry, uh, is he depressed, is he homesick, does he want to go back to the UK, or is he still a, a, a happy husband and father, now he's going to uh, uh, give a speech, in, a speech in the UN for Nelson Mandela and I wonder if it was uh, something that they uh, worked on since their uh, visit to the UN uh, a few months ago, almost a year I think, and um, or even, or maybe it was even longer than that. I'm not sure. Really, time flies so hard, so so fast with the, these two. So I've got. But, so I've decided to go on with this reading uh, anyway and do a checkup on Harry and ask him if he's okay, or actually looking into Harry's demons and how he is dealing with them. So the first card I'm going to take with the Symbolon uh, Oracle deck, this is the mini deck, and I'm going to uh, look into the uh, card that best uh, signifies uh, Harry's mood as it is these days. So first I'm going to clear the deck. Okay, so Harry's mood these days, Harry's mood these days. So let's see what we get. And the card that I'm getting is this card. So let's look it up. Okay, so this card is a card of a master and a pupil. And what this card is saying is that all of us need a, a master and all of us are apprentices uh, in what in some way and sometimes in uh, all kinds of uh, avenues in our lives uh, every person can become our apprentice or our uh, master and they say it quite clearly uh, you are even prepared to regard your wife and in brackets, your husband, or your children as your master. But what this card really is telling the Harry that in the end, he can be both, both the master and the pupil. So he receives in one hand and he gives out on the other hand. But right now, I believe that Harry feels more in the pupil side, more in the side of the uh, uh, the the side of the um, apprentice when it comes to his relationship with his wife, but he might feel a lot stronger when it came to the Invictus game. There he became he was the master, or uh, even if he is ha he's having uh, sessions with. Uh, Serena Williams maybe uh, in better up and he might feel that he has something to contribute so what this card is saying that every one of us has ability to contribute something to the world some and uh, in one way or another all of us are uh, apprentices and uh, and uh, masters uh, but right now he is uh, a little bit confused as to which one of those he is so this is the significator card i'm just going to put it here to rest and i'm going to use the dancing in the dark tarot uh, to check harry's demons and how he faces his demons now so many things are happening uh, 
he is uh, he's he, he right now is having three litigations going on one is uh, with the home office uh, for his security where he kind of lost uh, one with uh, the mail of sunday where uh, he won the first round and there was an agreement that there are some defamatory uh, some defamatory uh, let's say uh, uh, things in the uh, article that the mail on sunday uh, put up but i have to say that after amber heard and johnny depp i'm quite uh, perplexed as to how the uh, British uh, justice system looks at defamation uh, because I don't know where exactly they found defamation in what the Mail on Sunday put in that article. Anyway, but he did win that one. And then there is the law case against Samantha Marco in which uh, uh, Megan has tried a few times to uh, have it canceled and did not succeed. And more information is coming out about the possibility of the Sussexes suing a royal aides who complained against them. Something that uh, wouldn't have been a uh, possible if the pub if the uh, fam the royal family had published at least part of the bullying uh, allegations uh, uh, report and the the results or so or at least some of the results of that investigation uh, because that uh, investigation was not published but buried uh, the Sussexes can claim that uh, uh, it wasn't proven that uh, Megan did bully those uh, royal aides, and then she might be able to uh, uh, to uh, sue them. And since uh, it looks like the only avenue in which they are getting money or getting paid is by litigation, uh, so um, why not? So let's see what are Prince Harry's demon and how is he dealing with them? Is there any way for him or any path for him to go forward? So let's start by clearing the deck. Okay, so Harry. Are you okay? What are your demons? Uh, how are you able to get over those demons? Can you find a path forward? What are the historical context? What is the historical context of your demons? What are your challenges? Uh, what are the motivations that you are uh, that led you to do the mistakes that you did? So, Harry, what are your demons and are you okay? So, I'm going to cut the deck. And the first card is the card that shows us how Harry is feeling right now. And the card that I'm getting is... The Will of Fortune. The Will of Fortune is a card of change. So Harry does feel that he has changed very much because this is an internal change that is reflected uh, in the outside as well. And this card, uh, and we can see in all of the pictures of him that he has changed, that he has is not the person that he is, he used to be. And this is a card that speaks about taking destiny in your own hands. Uh, Harry feels that he did something quite a big when he took his destiny in his own hands and 
he decided to leave the royal family and this caused this very big change in him, a change in him internally that uh, projected on him externally. So this is a card of uh, changes. This is a card of believing that uh, life is something that uh, so you cannot always control. Uh, but this is about uh, life changes. And when it is badly aspected, and still we don't know whether uh, we will get uh, bad, uh, bad cards here or not, but when it is badly aspected, we see bad changes, we see upheaval of faith. But right now, we don't know exactly uh, whether it, he considers this as a good change or a bad change, just that he realizes that uh, what he did and uh, the decisions that he has made caused this very major change for, in him. Uh, and this is a, a change that is is very hard to reverse because uh, uh, in the ten of in the card of the uh, of the will of fortune the change is uh, nullifying what was before uh, only after uh, the death card do we see changes that are built upon uh, things that were in the past and are not nullifying what was in the in the past but uh, up until death card all of the changes that the fool is going through in his journey are changing Changes that uh, are uh, completely wiping what was before, and uh, a new person is be, uh, being uh, born, and that could be for the good or for the bad. So this is the first card and how Harry sees uh, his situation. The second uh, card is the hidden motivation that caused him to do uh, what he did or what we consider his mistake. Whether he considers this as a mistake or, or not, I don't know. But what are the underlying or the hidden motivations that uh, we can see that cause him to decide to leave his family? And we are getting another mystery card. Oh, I think I, I have to do uh, a card stalker a, a reading on the a card of the high priestess uh, because the high priestess is a card that doesn't give us an answer the high priestess that's a card of mystery that is a card of uh, all kinds of a uh, um, uh, secrets, but it is also a card of someone who needs mental health therapy. So I can say that in the underlying motivation lies is a, a, a mental uh, instability and his uh, mental disorder and his really very deep anxiety and depression that was there before. So this is what uh, the wife built upon when she met him. This is what she uh, realized. Uh, she saw it in him uh, once she got to know him. And that is how she knew that she can convince him to leave his family, that she can convince him that his family is the one that is uh, responsible for his uh, status for his current mental health. And once again, this is a mother card. As you can see here, there is a very prominent moon here, as there is in all of the uh, uh, high priestess cards. So, uh, but most of the motivations, I don't think that he himself knows. Most of the motivations are motiv motives that are even hidden from him. But the main motive here is his uh, mental health and his uh, very big mental, uh, uh, let's say, uh, instability. 
Okay, so that's the second card. The third card is the historical context uh, that, uh, or the past influences that caused him uh, to get to this situation. And the card that I'm getting is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, that is a card of happiness. That is a card of having the happy family, as you can see here, a, a mother, a father, two children looking at their house. This is a card of getting your wishes come true. And these are the past influences that caused him to, uh, to leave the royal family, believing that uh, this is his a way or this is his path to get the ten of cups this is what he's striving for he wants to be happy nobody really wants to be uh, depressed and uh, full of anxieties all the time this is what he wanted this is what his wife promised him this is what he really wishes for uh, this is a card of someone who is uh, getting everything that he wants to and Sometimes uh, in contrast with the Ten of Pentacles, that uh, richness and abundance comes after hard work. Here it comes even without working hard. It just comes. It just happens. And this is the main difference between these two cards that are very similar in many, many ways. But the main difference between both of the, the, the cards that in the Ten of Pentacles, we see a person that is working very hard and in the eight of pentacles he is willing to hard, work hard as an apprentice and to not not to get a lot paid a lot uh, in order to learn the trade and then on in the nine of pentacles he's working very hard and he's getting paid as he's due and then in the ten of pentacles he's reaching this uh, happy uh, abundant place the small piece of heaven but in the nine, in the in the cups, we see a person who uh, has wishes and wishes coming true. So this is something that is more cosmic. This is something like the universe will provide for you. You don't have to work hard for this. And this is something that uh, has, is stuck in his mind because this is how he was raised. He was raised knowing that he is provided for, that he doesn't need to work for, his, for the money, that he uh, will get uh, whatever he wants. Uh, this is how he was raised. This is what he's used to. And this is what he was promised. This is what he uh, influenced him to do that because this is what he believed that will happen. And the cups is, as I said, is uh, water energy. It's a lot of feelings. It is a lot about faith. It is a lot about believing, but it is also as all uh, the cups are, there is also a grain of uh, mental instability in all of the cups. But still, uh, this is a good card because this is what he believed that he's going to get. So what are the environment uh, influences that caused him to uh, go to the place or do whatever he uh, decided to do uh, to leave the royal family and the card that i'm getting is the eight of cups and the eight of cups is exactly the card of someone who is getting up and saying okay i've had enough i am leaving this is a card of someone who is letting go deciding to give up deciding to uh, leave behind everything. Once again, the mother is very prominent here. Uh, the mother is very, uh, uh, very, uh, um, and let's say very, very, um, um, very, big in his decision, everything that is connected to his mother. Uh, so this is a card of someone who is giving up the struggles and letting go. So he is decided to go. But this is another card of someone who is in very big mental instability, someone who needs therapy. So this is how he felt 
And this is uh, also how others sees what he did. So other people, the, the, the world, saw him as someone who got up and left everything behind him uh, without looking back. And this is what we can see about how others see him, but also on a other, a, a, or other influences that caused him to get up and decide to leave. And once again, uh, he, uh, I, would, I can see very clearly that his wife uh, could, could see that he has emotional instability and she could see very clearly that he is in a very difficult uh, stage and he needs someone uh, that will tell him what to do and this is what she did. So the fifth card is his path for forgiveness. So is there a path for him to uh, for forgiveness? And if there is, what is it? And what I'm getting here is another major arcana, and that is card number 13. Sorry, that is not a major arcana. That is the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry. So the Queen of Cups, another person who has mental instability. Uh, but the Queen of Cups is someone who is uh, the archetype of an adventurer, someone who will do uh, things without thinking. This is a card of changes. Uh, this is a card of someone who is doing things without uh, thinking about the results. Uh, so someone who will destroy in order to build, someone who will do things without being afraid of breaking conventions. So uh, for him to uh, decide to, uh, or the path for him to, uh, for forgiveness uh, with, uh, from his family or for what he has done is he will have to be very adventurous. So he will have to take, a, to, to do another drastic change. He will have to go back to the card of the, of the, uh, uh, of the, um, uh, Wheel of Fortune to go back to the change card and to start the change all over again. And this time, the change will have to be, be in regard to how he regards his wife and how he uh, regards his marriage and the step that he has done. Now, this card just tells me how difficult it is for him, how difficult it will be for him, because court cards have a, a tendency to miss opportunities uh, and this card uh, this card only shows me that this is almost an impossible job for him uh, the way that people feel towards him in england and now even in the us is almost impossible to reverse so this is uh, this just shows me that it is almost impossible to do that kind of major change once again and to go back to the way you were before this is something that will never happen because even the uh, the the what he went through uh, in the past four years that he's been married to megan uh, is also going Going to leave a very big scar on him but this card shows that he uh, it's it will be almost an impossible job for him so what kind of advice can we give him and the card that I'm getting is the Emperor card okay so the Emperor card that is the father card and the advice is go to your father Talk to your father. Try to become, a, to be more a, in contact with your father. Try to appease your father. And not only your father, but the emperor as the person who now controls the, the, the royal family, the person who now controls the wealth, uh, or the money source, the person that will that Harry will have to make peace with if he wants to go back to his family, and that is William, who is 
the emperor in a waiting, let's say it that way. Uh, the emperor that is a person who is a, a, a person that is a, very, very uh, strong, a person that is uh, very able to control the material world. This is, uh, this is the person who really decides things. This is the person who, what he says is what will be. So more than Prince Charles, it is Prince William. So uh, this is what uh, this is the only advice for uh, Prince Harry. Uh, this is the only thing that he can do. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think I don't see him uh, able to do that. Uh, but let's see what the Oracle deck says. And the Oracle is the Sacred Cycle Oracle, which is a, uh, an Oracle deck that goes around the cycles of the moon and the cycle of the uh, cycles of the uh, the of life cycles of uh, uh, the uh, uh, year uh, if if we're talking about uh, summer uh, winter uh, spring etc so this is a cycle a oracle and it shows us where in the cycle Harry is right now what in what stage he is right now and uh, this is a new deck i received it uh, in the pile of the new decks that i got so i am going to shuffle it once more and then clear the deck In a minute, just once more. Okay, so let's ask. So, uh, Harry's situation as it is right now, Harry's mental state, Harry's mental stability. Where is Harry in his cycle right now? And the card that I'm getting is full moon. So even before I'm looking at the full, uh, at the, uh, at the, um, and at the, what this book says about this card, uh, you know that the moon is always a, a symbol of the mother. And the meaning of the full moon card is my dreams are coming true. The brilliance of the full moon speaks to the fullness of his life. Uh, so he feels right now, so he's not actually realizing where that uh, that he's not in uh, this best best of stages he feels that his dreams are coming true that he has this happy family he has the children he, that is how he feels this is how that this is how he sees himself but once again because this is a moon card this is about a mother and the mother is always very very prominent in harry's life and i think this is why we got the full moon card here so this is it for this reading and i hope you liked it and if you did please like subscribe hit the notification bell leave me a comment see see you in the next one bye